You might think that this is some kind of circus trick for which he's been specially trained, but not so. He is doing this entirely on initiative. He's seen others doing it and he's copying. And that ability to imitate as well as to use tools is something which started among monkeys but has been brought to a much greater level. The only way to spare more pain and more loss, the only way these millstones no longer mark our national mourning, these milestones, I should say, no, no longer mo mark our national mourning. You say the next pandemic, there will be another pandemic. Absolutely. We don't know when. You know, the risk per year, 2%, 3%. Scientists tell us there are three things we must do to stay safe. Wear masks, make sure we social distance, and wash our hands. And now, your school, with the help of Microsoft Corporation, has created another. Introducing Daily Pass, your exclusive ticket for safely going back to school. Each week, you can schedule your free on-campus COVID test. The results are displayed in your Daily Pass. And if you choose to take your test off campus, you can post the results in your daily pass. And the moment vaccinations are available, you'll simply be able to schedule yours through your daily pass. But the real magic is your daily health check. Just answer a few simple health questions every day, and like magic, your entrance ticket appears. Welcome back. Welcome to school. So, how did it go? Dad, I have to admit, I was scared at first, but then I felt so safe. It was so good to be back. Thanks for keeping me safe. I love you so much.
They are coming out thanks also to the leadership of China in terms of fighting the pandemic, in terms of reinvigorating its economy. We have now a window of opportunity to create this global reset which we all need. you've had the vaccine you have a feeling of uh, you know you're, you're protected which is I think very important and as far as I can make out it was quite harmless and it was very quick and I'm, I've had lots of letters from people who've been very surprised by how easy it was to get the vaccine and the jab was very it didn't hurt at all I, I think the other the other thing is is that it's it is obviously difficult for people to if they've never had a vaccine because they ought to think about other people rather than themselves dr levine do you believe that minors are capable of making such a life-changing decision as changing one's sex well senator thank you for your interest in this question um transgender medicine is a very complex and nuanced field um, with robust research and uh, standards of care that have been developed. And if I am fortunate enough to be confirmed as the Assistant Secretary of Health, I will look forward to working with you and your office and coming to your office and discussing the particulars of the standards of care for transgender yeah, medicine. The specific question was about minors. Let's be a little more specific since you evaded the question. <laughs> to get population under control as well, because if you look at it in sheer economic terms, how can you sustain increases in per capita income at a time when you have rising population without rising economic growth? Whereas if you have a declining um, population, which is what I would aim for, then of course even a stable economic growth situation will give you increases in per capita income. So that's where I stand on do, that. Do you, do you have a sense of what the carrying capacity of Britain is or of the... Uh, uh, of the world as a whole? Or? Well, Britain, I'd put it at 10 or 15 million. Um, I, mean, I think that'd be absolutely fine. I mean, that would do us really splendidly. At, at, at a limit, 2025, I think it's complete nonsense that we are now confronted with an islander, would you believe it, of 70 million. They seem today. 